Aquarius, welcome to your mid-November heart spread reading. This reads the one that's on your mind and the one that's in your heart. We're at the Urban Jungle Studios. Dave Skytero, <laughs> Mikasa. Pretty quiet, knock on wood right at the moment. Um, it's a good breeze blowing here. It's amazing, Cancun, Mexico weather. It's like it's a heavenly, perfect. Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck here. Mid-November time frame, okay? I've already pre-shuffled these um, since last night when I read. I've been out here a while, kind of getting uh, in my groove here. It's such a peaceful place, usually. Um, blessed. Little, um, sanctuary in the middle of a very bustling city, believe me, Cancun. It's a little crazy out there. There they are. <laughs> a little crazy. So, Aquarius, here we are. We're still pulling that new moon and uh, Scorpio energy, 12 degrees Scorpio. This is just going to pick up the one that's on your mind, um, the one that's in your heart, and we're going to look at them and you and get some advice for both and on the relationship as a whole. Eight cards in the shape of a heart, ultimately two of cups energy. So, I like to read this as where you're at in the round relationships, uh, where your mind and heart is at. Um, it kind of separated from your person. Uh, but I think when, when I see the Two of Cups here, it's usually someone that, that you're uh, so much in love right now and so much focused on this person and on love and on the Two of Cups energy um, that you... Um, um, that's kind of like all that's on your mind, you know? <laughs> it's not bad. It's like you're really into someone. It could be the energy of just like really feeling it, knowing it's coming, plus if you're intuitive and feeling really good and feeling like you're ready for love and could be could be too like you're dating, you know, um, or very much could be just just you really connecting with this person you want to give your cups to. Now here they come with seven of pentacles energy. So what's that? Um, they're coming in with the energy of um, um, measuring the crops, um, reciprocation issues, what it amounts to. That's really shows this card really shows this well. Exactly what Seven of Pentacles is. Kind of looking at what you've done and just thinking it through. Like you know, with Pentacles, it's that hard math stuff. No fuzzy math. No Neptune fooling yourself stuff. No Jupiterian over optimism. So they might be like a Capricorn personality here, Aquarius, or someone that's grounded. And, very realistic and they have issues uh, look their back is turned to the past to these issues that have with reciprocity very most likely then they're empathic and everything and you know they weren't reciprocated or they felt they weren't anyway um, so that's a very different energy to come in with and I, I think this energy for them it speaks to how this is supposed to work this is just about them it isn't even about you yet this is kind of where they're at but now imagine that this is when you met them, this is where their head was at, okay? So, uh, whereas your head was like, I'm looking for love, I don't know. Maybe the clock's ticking, you know, and you're like, let's do this. Uh, it's uh, that kind of energy. Now, uh, when you're with them, how do they make you feel? Now you're starting to feel Three of Cups energy. Now, I don't see this as cheating here. Uh, of course, you would know that, but I don't think that's the case. Uh, Aquarius as you know um, this is the energy of as you engage them uh, I really think now more seeing it go because I'm looking at where you're at on your own and where you're at now when you start to relate to this person take them into account in life and the changes from the two of cups to the three of cups it's very amazing it's progression um, so you're feeling like this is the right one you probably had choices and you're kind of feeling like this is the right one and towards this person you're wanting to take action here maybe you don't normally take the lead but like you want to take the lead you know I love you first ask them out first go down that road first now how do they feel when they're around you well this is very uh, interesting the Empress card definitely get earth energy here Capricorn Taurus Virgo Capricorn Taurus comes in my mind you know um, this measuring, well, it could be, you know, Virgo too, you know, measuring of the crops. Uh, this is that just really nuts and bolts stuff here with your person. 
Um, and now, it, it, it could be a feeling towards you of even generosity. Um, and to, for them to go from the Seven of Pentacles to feeling like the Empress around you, that's huge. Um, you definitely make them feel reciprocated. Maybe what they lacked, if you ask them, guys, in terms of reciprocation, well, what do you mean, you know? Emotionally, maybe I'm a Venus and Scorpio, maybe it's like that, and they're just like, I never had the emotional connection that I felt I needed. And you come in, first of all, you're open to relationships. You're not probably someone, of course, going on like, fuck men, fuck women, I'm done, mm -mm, not for me, uh, single for life, rah, rah. You know, you're coming in, you're open to love and wanting relationships and a very positive feeling around that. Um, and then when you engage them, it's like, I think you just see them as the logical um, expression of that energy. And you want to date them and be around them. And it's kind of the whole romance phase. So with you too, it's not a real sexual type of feeling, Aquarius, but it is a very romantic feeling. An emotional feeling so you might be feeling particularly like a soulmate type of connection and I think they're picking up on this and they're feeling like the Empress because they're already a very solid person so maybe this just makes them kind of appreciate themselves more I don't see anything with them like being egotistic or anything about it it's just like you you validate them in a way uh, and I think they really appreciate the emotional connection and to them, the emotional connection is something solid. It's like a pinnacle, like an empress. You know, to other people, it might be like, well, it's just emotions. What's, I'm a cancer man. How many times have I heard, Jesus, Dave, it's just emotions. Like, I'm just like, man, what's the explode? Emotions are everything. Emotions, I know it's not true, but it could be how you kind of see things, you know. Um, and they really need this and appreciate this in you. So what I see so far. Now let's look at your advice, Aquarius, towards them. Look at this. you got the Three of Cups and the Three of Wands. Now that's a heck of a, you know, a Two of Cups to the Three of Cups and the Three of Wands. Um, you have to leave in an element here that you, you had choices coming into this. So you may still be thinking about these choices here. Um, because the Three of Wands is can be looking for love, you know. Um, three of Cups, of course, the same way. Really wasn't feeling the Three of Cups. I think it's a progression from the Two of Cups with you thinking this is the person. So this is then advice from Spirit. And I think if you look at this as advice from Spirit, what also is the Three of Wands? It's fire. It's action. It's the energy of doing it, going for it. Two of Wands is what am I going to do? Which way am I going to go? Three of Wands is I'm going to go that way. What's the Two of Cups here? It's like I'm going to put my emotions, my heart, with this person over here, this empress person over here. That's probably like this earth sign over here. That's your feelings. And now the universe comes along and saying, well, why don't you back that up with actions? Now I see this, guys. What is their advice? Two of Pentacles, stay solid. Keep playing their own game uh, with uh, Two of Pentacles under the empress. Um, I think for your person, if they're listening, I'd love for this kind of reading to be shared. I, I hope you can hear the breeze, the tree, the leaves. It's, 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 um, it's delicious. Uh, but share this with them. Um, you know, um, maybe somehow um, it would help them. Um, but uh, you make them feel like the Empress. So... Uh, for them, it's kind of a from spirit saying, you know, keep balance and understand that, that you are the empress. You're not the empress because this other person here, this Aquarius person you met, happens to be emotionally available. You, Aquarius, emotionally intelligent, uh, you know, um, and um, maybe being something they haven't had in a long time. So it's kind of like saying to them, don't kind of lose yourself, you know, keep your... Keep yourself a little bit grounded here. Keep your feet on the ground. Um, and I see nothing to keep this from being a relationship right now. It does kind of indicate to me that you would be the person to pursue Aquarius. You would be the person to take like initiative here, especially with this Three of Wands. Look at this guy. <laughs> Somebody's getting married and inviting me to the marriage. You got the hair bond. This is in the number seven position. This is the advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole. Now, what the hell do you think that is? Uh, between the Three of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Now, 
one thing about two of pinnacles um, this is telling them keep doing their thing keep doing their work which i think is important to them so they need a routine they need to be steady if i have a job they have to focus on here and i think you're being asked to take the lead in this it's all the way you might be the first one to say i love you first one let's get married you might be the one that ends up with three of How's this for a Three of Wands interpretation? <laughs> Eat a bitty tarot. Three of Wands, you might be the one that plans the wedding. It takes care of it and has some responsibility. Also, in terms of uh, twin flame energy, you would definitely be the activator and they would be the sleeper here. Um, and advice the hair font is very strong right there. And then this tells what kind of a marriage you're going to have. Ace of Pentacle, that's a fantastic outcome for the heart spread here, guys. Um, this shows a solid relationship here. Um, and you've got the hair fant over the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, if this is your reading, somebody's getting married. If it's not marriage, it's a long-term committed relationship that's like a marriage by any other name. You know, you're going to make a solid new union together with this Ace of Pentacles. And also with this Ace of Pentacles, it shows to me two people really coming together here. And it could be uh, you coming, your Aquarius, but you must be packing a lot of Pisces. And, you know, they're packing a lot of earth energy. Um, and so we're going to get a nice mixture of earth and water, which go together well, as everyone knows. Um, so it's going to be a very solid, emotionally solid. Um, I think you're, you're looking at a marriage here, guys, so congratulations. <laughs> I'd say it. Give me a like, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a friend. Do share. If you can think of anywhere that this could be shared that would be appropriate, please do. And it help me. I want to get some uh, subscribers. Need to get to a thousand so we can go live. It's the first goal. We're getting close though. So help me. And I think we'll do this live. That'll kind of be a hoot. Uh, I don't mind screwing up. I'm a Sagittarius. Thank you guys.